So, Ruckus has been in the business of carrier-grade Wi-Fi for about eight years now. And we started out in the IPTV business, solving the problem of residential uh, networking uh, to get IPTV signals, multiple HD streams, from the DSL modem in the corner of the house to the uh, set-top box in the other corner. And, uh, of course, the skills that we learned there, we've translated into the enterprise market uh, as well and kept our thread with many, many operators worldwide into the mobile Internet space, which is really what we're here talking about this, uh, at this event. So what role do you imagine wireless Wi-Fi playing in uh, next generation networks? So you've seen a transition in the way that mobile operators are thinking about Wi-Fi in the last several years. Uh, initially, they kind of encountered it as a, a hotspot technology, and they had their doubts about how exactly they were going to make money with that. Um, and about a year ago, you might have seen uh, a lot of stories about 3G offload and consideration of Wi-Fi as, in effect, a Band-Aid for 3G networks. Uh, and what we're seeing in the last few months is a, a fundamental shift of Wi-Fi into a strategic role for these carriers. They're thinking about it in their long-term plans as one of the tools they will use side-by-side -side with the license technology, uh, such as LTE, in reaching users that are found in very high capacity density situations. More or less anywhere you would find uh, a number of smartphone users uh, looking for high bandwidth, whether that's indoors or outdoors, whether those are public venues or private venues, uh, we see carriers looking to reach those users with alternative networks in order to provide enough capacity. And those networks are taking multiple forms as we're working with, with carriers. Uh, some of them are, 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 are uh, self-build networks where they're providing their own equipment uh, into these public spaces. Uh, some of them are managed services plays, and we're working with T-Mobile in Germany, for example. We've uh, deployed a large stadium there uh, where T-Mobile is managing it, and uh, the stadium owners are, are uh, reaping the benefits both for general subscribers from T-Mobile in the stands as well as the people who are operating the stadium and the press and so forth. Uh, we're also seeing an emerging wholesale layer in this marketplace and that's actually fairly consistent with what's happened in cellular over the years uh, where you see, as you mentioned, a lot of DAS deployments in these public and, uh, and private large-scale venues. Uh, for the same logic, uh, a lot of the same logic applies in that the venue owner would not necessarily want to have five Wi-Fi systems put in along with LTE small cells and so forth for lots of different operators. Uh, so we actually are, are supporting a neutral host model in those venues as well.